Good evening, Baden High School. My name is Cindy Minton. I'm the assistant campus minister and one of the senior religion teachers here at Baden. It's been my honor to share in the lives of the members of the class of 2020, in the classroom, on retreat, at games and concerts and theater, these young men and women have truly been a blessing here at Baden. As we come together tonight in an unprecedented fashion, we want to welcome you to our final all-school mass of the 2019-2020 school year. We chose to hold this mass in our main gym at Baden because we knew that this was the place that you're missing. It's the place that's familiar and that provides comfort to all of us because this is where we're supposed to be together for this liturgical celebration. Gather your family, your friends, and all you've been quarantined with. Put yourself in the presence of the Lord and join us in sharing God's love tonight by singing, responding, and praying from your home. Be sure to watch the entire service as we'll be ending our time together with the reading of the students receiving red cords, the reading of the Christian service recognition, recognition of the sacristan, and the Notre Dame Learning Community Awards. Know that each and every one of you is in our hearts and that you're with us all in spirit at this very moment. May God bless you all. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Seniors, know that today and always, we are all important members of the Baden High School family. As much as this is not how we wanted to end our time together, we've done our best and been successful at what life has th thrown at us. As this prayer is read, the banners of each class will be brought forth by the current class presidents. Thanks to all who helped to make this a memorable year. We are truly blessed to be part of something so special. May the rose ride to, rise to meet you, May the wind be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rain fall softly on your fields. And until we meet again, may you be safe in the gentle, loving arms of God. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Father Ed Pratt, and it's my honor to serve as the chaplain at Baden High School as we celebrate the Senior Mass and the Baden community celebrates together the class of 2020. As we gather for Mass and each time we come together, we begin and we prepare by first calling to mind our sins and asking for the Lord's forgiveness. And we humbly pray, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy where we keep in honor of the risen Lord and do what we relive in remembrance of what he has told us to do. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated as we listen to the first reading. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah, Lord God, I said, I know not how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord answered, answered me, Say not, I am too young. To whomever I, whomever, ever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them, because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. This day I set you over nations and over kingdoms, to root up and to tear down, to destroy and to demolish, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians. Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another if one has a grievance against another. As the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all, these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. You are salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. The lamp is set on a stand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and give glory to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. We've all had limited interaction with others other than maybe those in our own home. But at my parish, I have had people come in and out of the office and uh, just want to talk, keeping socially distanced the best that we can. But I had a lady come in the other day and she said to me, Father, I have a heavy heart. And I said, what's your heart heavy about? She said, I have a grandson who's graduating from high school this year and a granddaughter graduating from college this year. And my heart is heavy because neither one of them are gonna have the typical graduation that is celebrated each and every year at that level. And I got to thinking myself, my heart's been heavy for the few of you that are here, and for those of you that are watching, my heart's been heavy too. I've truly missed this place and missed your faces, missed the opportunity to have mass with you, missed the opportunity to be in the dugout at a ball game, missed the opportunity to touch hearts or to have your hearts touch mine. When we think of the phrases we even use in our language, cross my heart. The musical Damn Yankees, the main song the coach sings to the players in the locker room is motivation. You've got to have heart miles and miles and miles and miles of heart. We know when something affects us, but we say that it's touched our hearts. It's how God communicates with us. Even in the Old Testament, the prophets tell the people that God's law is not written in stone, it's written on your heart. We have a lot here at Baden that touches our hearts. A lot of events, but more importantly, the people of Baden and the presence of God in this place is what touches our hearts the most. As you leave here, celebrate graduation, however families will be doing it, and move on to that next stage of life. Take that part of your heart that Baden helped develop. That part of your heart that has been touched by God's love and share it with others. Because I know so many of you have miles and miles and miles and miles of heart because you've shared it with me and you've shared it with others. If I were a musician, I would sing that part of that song, but you all don't want to hear that. And I'm told this sound system's pretty good, so it would probably make me sound worse than, than, than if I didn't. Let's think about the things in our lives that we hold dear in our hearts. And let's be people of gratitude who recognize 
Anything that's important enough to be in our heart is a gift from God because it's his love and God's heart that guides us through life when we say yes to being the people he's called us to be. Class of 2020, thanks for touching my heart. And in some way, I hope that my ministry at Baden has done something to touch your hearts. Because we have to recognize that we touch others' hearts through God, and God touches other hearts, our hearts, through others. You've got to have heart miles and miles and miles and miles of heart. Way to go, 2020. We think of 2020 being clear vision. God has a clear vision for each of you. And I see it in all of you right now. Amen. Amen. Please stand as we offer our prayers and our petitions to our loving God. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the class of 2020, that the love, friendship, joy, and faith experienced at Baden High School will help them to know the love of God in all their future endeavors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the parents and families of our graduates, students, faculty, and staff, that they know the love and appreciation we feel today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our 2020 graduates, that the lessons learned from the challenges and uncertainty of the past few months will help them learn how to overcome obstacles that they may face in the future. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Baden High School community, the alumni of Baden, Notre Dame, and Hamilton Catholic, that they feel the strength and unity of the bond they share in Jesus' love forever, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faculty and staff of Baden High School, that they understand that the time, effort, and love they bring to their students is very much appreciated by all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased loved ones, that they are forever at peace in the company of Jesus our brother, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, that the peace we look for in the world will be the peace we live at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that together we can live out the message of Christ's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For any intentions we hold privately in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, with faith in your goodness, we place these prayers and petitions before you. We ask you to hear them, to grant us what we need according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated as the altar is prepared and the gifts are brought forward.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice to your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, Lord, together with these sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this Easter season, above all, to lodge you more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he's destroyed our death, and by rising has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And together we sing the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Dennis, our bishop, all the clergy and religious, and all who serve your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await in blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, where you live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And as appropriate through a bow or a wave, let's offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We invite you to be united with our Lord in a spiritual communion, desiring that you might know the presence of Jesus Christ in your life. And so we pray. O oh Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. We love you above all things and desire to receive you into our souls. For those who cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into their hearts so that they might embrace you and unite themselves wholly to you. Let us never be separated from you. Amen.
It's truly an honor to be here with this small percentage of the class of 2020 because good things happen here at Baden High School because of the good people associated with Baden. At the conclusion of Mass, we have some awards and some honors to pass out. So after the closing song, continue to watch, continue to join us here from the gym. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you restored us to eternal life through the resurrection of Christ. Increase within us the fruits of his paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts your saving strength. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. director of campus ministry here and I need to begin by apologizing because I didn't think I would be emotional but listening to that song whew, we normally are swaying together and holding hands and celebrating the city of God and so it is very different and I'm going to stop this evening we would like to recognize every student who makes a different a difference at Baden it's literally not impossible. There are just so many wonderful young men and women who walk through the halls every day. We celebrate Mass one final time in the gym as a school because we feel it's important for everyone to be together. Our freshmen, our sophomores, our juniors, and our seniors. So tonight we're thinking of all of you. Each year, Red cords are presented to students who have donated blood at least twice during their high school career. Each donation has the potential for saving three lives. Thank you and congratulations to the following outstanding students who have chosen to give the gift of life. Lauren Barnhorn, Tess Barreto, Colin Crank, Scott Day, Max Fear, Emma Fritsch, Keegan Gormley, Max Hall, Zoe Hargis, Elizabeth Hurst, Ellie Kleiber, excuse me, 
Thank you. Leah Krause, Anna LaPere, Claire McGowan, Andrea McKenzie, Emma Mainwaring, Abby Mallory, Lizzie Middendorf, Adam Norris, Shelby Nussbaum, Ella Poland, Katie Schuler, Jalen Scowden, Zach Schweitzer, Sophie Tischler, Kennedy Wisman, and Brooke Walterman. Please help me congratulate these students. I am Megan Halverson and I am the service coordinator at Baden. So here tonight to recognize those of you who have given, given an extraordinary amount of your time and of your heart, miles and miles of heart that Father spoke of, to serve others. You heard in the gospel tonight that God invites us to share our light, those gifts that are within us. We are not asked to just simply hide them under a basket. But God calls us to place those on a lampstand and to shine that light for all to see. And that is what you do when you serve. And this year began as it normally did, right? Remember that? You all were serving, sharing your gifts and your time with the people around you, gathering donations, donating your own time and talents, reaching out to our community. There were lessons learned and stories shared as we put our generosity into practice and shine that beautiful light that is yours. And then the world was turned a bit upside down and that call to shine your light asks you to dig a bit deeper and in service, to find new and creative ways to serve. For God asks us to serve and share our gifts, not only when life is easy, but when life is hard, right? And when we feel that darkness around us, that is when we must dig so deep to let that light shine so brightly. And you did that. You did that in amazing and creative and wonderful, generous ways. So today, we take a minute to um, recognize those of you who have just gone above and beyond this year, who have offered hours and hours of service, whether quarantined or not, to shine your light with others. So as you know, Baden partners with Interview, which is an organization um, that works with the United Nations and the goals of the, the global goals of the United Nations and it spreads that through high school students and college students around the world. And so we partner with them and because of that partnership, you guys are eligible for these national service awards. And today, tonight, 194 of you, which is a huge number, which has grown like crazy since I have gotten to be a part of your story and it's amazing to see. 194 of you being honored for how many hours you have given. Now, clearly that's a bit too many names to call out right now, but I do want to recognize some of these numbers. So 125 of our students are receiving the Merit Award. And these awards you're receiving digitally, you may have already gotten the email. And when we are back together again someday, you will um, receive this award in person. 125, receiving the Merit Award, which acknowledges that you have worked with at least four different agencies for at least 20 hours, um, giving those gifts of yourself during that time. 49 of you are receiving the Honor Award this year, which means that you've participated with at least eight different agencies and activities, at least 40 hours of service. Now, if you were all here, I would ask you all to stand and be recognized, so know that we do recognize you and we offer our gratitude for what you have done. Now, the highest national service award is the Ambassador Award, and this means that you have worked with at least 12 different agencies and activities, over 100 hours of service, and there are 20 individuals um, receiving this award this year, and I would like to name them now. Sophomores Liz Feltner, Olivia Grammel, Katie Here Now, and Lexi Von Bargen. Juniors, Kaylin Berger, Tracy Fields, Logan Haig, Audrey Hood, 
Megan Huff, Grace Meehan, Chloe Mason, Tatum Oliver, Sean Pendergast, Aiden Saylor, Caitlin Smith, Emma Trusak, and Bella Williams. And seniors, Katie DeSiracy, Maddie Mills, and Hannah Werner. Congratulations and thank you for all you have given. I also want to recognize those seniors who have received a National Service Award every year that you were eligible. Those individuals are Lauren Barnhorn, Andrea Clark, Katie DeSiracy, Jack Feinstra, Lizzie Mittendorf, Elise Nolker, Ella Pollen, Jenna Ritchie, Caitlin Robinson, Adam Salick, and Hannah Werner. And finally, I just want to acknowledge each of you for finding your own way to serve. As a student body this year, Baden students recorded over 3,200 hours, or 3,200 activities of service, which was almost 13,000 hours. And because of that, Baden has earned the Emerald Award for our school, which is a great honor, and thank you for being a part of that. So congratulations, continue to seek ways to shine your light, whether it is bright and sunny or whether you feel that darkness creeping in, find that strength to shine. And I will look forward to more of the same of this next year from those of you who will be back with us, um, especially when we can do so in person. So congratulations, we miss you and thank you. Each year at Baden, we choose two students to serve as our sacristan and assistant sacristan. These two students are responsible for liturgy preparation for each all school mass, both morning and afternoon daily prayer, and serving the Baden community as faith leaders. Faith leadership focuses on living and sharing the Catholic faith with the intention of influencing and enriching the lives of students, staff, and other members of our school community. We would like to thank the 2019-2020 Assistant Sacristan Ella Pollen and Sacristan Nathan Schuster for their contribution to faith leadership at Baden. And at this time, we would like to invite the following juniors to serve our community during their senior year. Our Assistant Sacristan will be Sean Pendergast and our Sacristan will be Izzy Helton. In 2018, Baden High School established two awards for seniors to be presented at the Senior Mass. As a school originally influenced by the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur, and with the 2017 reaffiliation, we've decided to recognize the spirit of St. Julie Billiard and Sister Dorothy Stang alive in our student body. The reason these awards are presented at the Senior, year, the senior Mass each year is to inspire the younger students to live out the spirit as well. These awards are voted on by the religion department, service coordinator, chaplain, and campus minister, and approved by the principal. The Sister Dorothy Stang Award is given to a senior who has truly dedicated him or herself to service. A pillar of Baden states that we, as a community, work to serve God and serve others. This student has made service to those most in need a commitment while at Baden. In the spirit of Sister of Notre Dame de Namur, Dorothy Stang, who dedicated her life to making a difference at all time, this award recognizes a true spirit of service. Quote, let Dorothy inspire you, her great spirit, her work for justice and peace, her service to the poorest, her defense of the earth, especially her trust in God, her steadfast determination, her carrying on no matter what. We are proud to announce that this year's recipient of the Sister Dorothy Stang Award is Adam Salick. The Spirit of St. Julie Billiard Award is given to a senior who lives out the hallmarks of a Notre Dame learning community and follows the example of St. Julie. This student is recognized for his or her ability to show, through action and deed, the goodness of God. This student makes God's goodness known to all. Always and everywhere, Mother Julie saw the hand of the good God. She taught the children to love the good God in every circumstance of their lives. 
We are proud to announce that this year's recipient of the Spirit of St. Julie Billiard Award is Emily Sauer. Thank you for being with us, and Mr. Pentagast will now address everyone. Good evening. Seems weird to say that because on a typical senior mass, we would be here on a Friday morning. The gym would be packed with all of our students and so many of our parents that make this place so special. One of the hardest parts about this last quarter um, has what makes Baden special. Baden's a great building. The building and grounds are tremendous. But it's the students that bring life to this building. And not seeing you guys day in and day out makes all of us very sad. And I hope that all of you realize how much you are missed. Before I go on with a little bit about our seniors, there are a few people we need to thank. Uh, we need to eventually thank Father for coming down and celebrating Mass with us today. to Mrs. Helms and all the faculty that helped put this together. <laughs> to our mass participants, thank you for being here. <laughs> and a special thanks to the McCormicks. Um, it's very bittersweet to have you here today, um, listening to the beautiful music, but also knowing this is the last time we'll celebrate mass with you. Um, You've been very, very special to this place, and I just want to personally thank you for everything that you've done for Baden and for our students. So thank you and wish you nothing but best of luck in the future. We especially want to thank our seniors and our parents. First, for our parents. Thank you for entrusting your sons and daughters with us for the last four years. Uh, the impact that they've had on us doesn't even come close to express how important they are to each and one, every one of us. Hopefully we've impacted each of them in the same way or at least a sliver of that. We know you make a great sacrifice to be here, uh, to send your students here, uh, and we greatly appreciate that. If this is your last child or it's not your last child, know that each and every one of you are an important part of our Baden community and you're always welcome to be here. And to our seniors, definitely not what we expected in any way, shape or form for the end of your senior year. But I would say this to you, as sad as the last month has been, the last two months or whatever it's been at this point. Don't let that overshadow the joy, the happiness, and the excitement that you felt over these last three and a half, three and three quarters years. Those memories that we may have not had a chance to experience together, those are, those are, those are disappointments and we know that but hold on to the memories that you have of this place of with one another because that's what makes this place special. There's always going to be disappointments in life. There's always going to be heartache. There's always going to be sadness that happens. But it doesn't diminish in any way, shape, or form what took place prior to that. Think about all of us have lost somebody special to us in some, you know, whether some capacity, grandparents, parents, whatever the case may be. And even though our hearts ache by not seeing those people and not being able to have those experiences moving forward, it doesn't change the fact that they are an important part of your life for however many years they were here. The same holds true for your senior year. Yes, there's disappointment and loss for the things that you didn't get to experience. And as I said, we're heartbroken for that. 
but it doesn't change what you have done here for the last three years and three quarters of a year. All those great memories, all those great experiences will live in your hearts forever. And whatever you go, wherever you go, whatever you do, remember a couple of things. One, as the Notre Dame Learning Community, it's important to always show by your life more than your words the goodness of God. Remember that we are a community and you will always be part of that. And probably the one hallmark that we were focused on this year that quite honestly I didn't think would take as much importance, to be very honest with you, we develop holistic learners, learning communities which educate for life. And these last quarter has definitely taught you how to learn for life. It's taught you gratitude. It's taught you how quickly things can change. And it's taught you to cherish one another and those around you, besides all the academics that you learned in, during the process. But the most important thing I want each and every one of you in the senior class, the class of 2020, to remember is that we love you, we miss you, and you will always be a Ram. Good evening.